The holidays are fast approaching. Can you feel the anxiety starting to rise already? Hey, let's talk about it in your morning cup of inspiration. Thanks for joining me. This is the time of year when it's a little tougher with all the stress, the strain, the busyness of the season. Sometimes it's tough to keep our peace, isn't it? But I want to remind you of two things that the Bible tells us that will help us focus and maintain that perfect peace that Jesus offers us. It's found in Isaiah, the 26th chapter, third verse. It says, you will keep in perfect peace all who trust in you, whose thoughts are fixed on you. First of all, notice it says all. That includes you, that includes me. He'll keep in perfect peace all who do what? One of two things, do two things. One is to trust. We must trust in God for that peace. And two, whose thoughts are fixed on you. So those are the two things we need to do. We need to trust in him and we need to continually keep our thoughts on God. Why would that be? Well, obviously, if we keep our focus and our thoughts on God, we're not looking at the problems. We're not looking at the anxiety we're receiving the peace of God because we're trusting him and we're thinking about him. Let me share a little blog that I ran across that was written by my uh, campus pastor's wife. It says, the rules of the world have predetermined responses to the challenges, the trauma, the pain, and the suffering we experience. Loss demands depression. Lack demands insecurity. Betrayal demands bitterness. Change demands anxiety. Sickness demands fear. But you know what? Peace doesn't play by the world's rules, does it? Peace doesn't bend to expectation or to reality. It doesn't bow out in the presence of confusion or hurt. And it doesn't hide from worry or doubt. Peace that comes in the form of a person named Jesus prevails until the battle's over until the breakthrough comes, until the answer is received. Peace that passes understanding can be experienced, period. It's real and it's always available. Do not forget today and in the upcoming days that the perfect peace that passes all understanding is available for you. God bless. Thanks for joining me for that morning cup of inspiration. And we'll see you next time.